I believe that everybody has innate psychic abilities. You can call it intuition, you can call it instinct, a hunch, but all of us, every single one of us have the ability to connect to spiritual guidance in that we use our psychic sense. What inspired me to write Medium Mentor was this burning message that I was getting from my guides talking about waking people up to their own abilities, how they themselves can connect, and I wanted to give them really easy techniques to use for themselves or if they are the budding psychic medium to use for others. And the pull was undeniable, so this is why I wrote that book. The most common misconception I feel about psychic energy is that it's something that is outside of ourselves, something that we're not entitled to, when in fact it's something that lives with each and every one of us. We were born with this ability. And I think the entitlement that comes along with thinking, well, how come I can't do that? I, I can't kind of connect, but you can. All of us can connect. And I think that that's a misconception that you have to be a psychic medium in order to use your psychic abilities. What I mean when I say spirit speaks in your own voice is that it is not some disembodied voice outside of us. It is a voice that resonates from within, almost in the inner ear. It is a softer voice, not our loud mind. And when I was told that, it changed my life. I was finally able to discern what was my loud mind getting in the way and what was actual spiritual guidance from within. The most common fears associated with psychic development would probably be, am I going to get this right? Can I do this? Am I making this up? That's one of the big ones. Am I making this up? Those are really the common fears. When we acknowledge that fear, and I talk about this in the book, we learn how again to move into that belief system that we have the ability, and then we start to see the validation through the work and that fear subsides, it kind of goes away. But I would think that's the most common fear. It's important that we get our ego in check so that we can put things like pleasing aside. We can put things like doubt and fear in its place. When we check the ego, we're able to hear spirit with full on clarity. We take care of the ego by acknowledging that it exists, and then we use our spiritual tools in order to set it aside and move forth with our abilities anyway. The idea of leaning into ego, well, you'll want to be getting it right. There doesn't have to be any getting it right. This is your own personal authentic practice. So the more you lean out of ego and into guidance, the more you'll hear it with perfect clarity, with ego all silenced up. My hope for the reader and their takeaway from this book is that they feel undoubtedly that they themselves can connect to spirit every single day make that connection and more than that can feel the love that spirit has for them if they walk away with an understanding that their team their guides their loved ones are here for them on a daily basis then my job is done